Hi, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a border around your picture. Somebody asked me the other day how to get this done, and while I told her you can do it in Microsoft PowerPoint, you can also do it in GIMP. And since so many people are wanting to learn how to use GIMP, I thought we'd use that program today. So the first thing I want you to do is boot up your GIMP program, and once you get inside there, I want you to click File and Open. And this will open a box that lets you search on your own computer for a picture that you want to place a border around. So I'm going to find my picture here. Once you find the picture you want, highlight it and click open again. This will open the picture up for you inside of GIMP. So once you have the picture inside of GIMP, it's very easy to add a border. All you have to do is go up to filters, go down to decor, click add border. And then tell the box that opens up how big you want that border. I'm going to leave mine at 12. And since I don't want the corner value to make it look like it's a picture frame, I just want to add color, I'm going to change this to 1. And my border color, I'm going to change to white. Okay? And then once you have your, your border size for the top and the bottom all around the picture, you can click OK. And GIMP will go to work and create that border for you. Unfortunately, it creates it as a separate layer. So we want, if I turn this layer off, you'll see that the border is gone. And that's not what we want. We want to combine these two pictures. So place your mouse over top of the border layer, right click, and then tell new from visible. Then if I click off these two layers and turn them off, you'll see that we actually have the picture with the border intact. And that's what we want. So at this point, you are done. You have added your border, so now you can go up to File, and you can say Save As. And when the box comes up, you can pick here, Select File by Extension, and you can tell it what kind of extension you want. Now I'm going to save mine as a PNG, but you can save yours in whatever format you want. So you just pick PNG, and then name that image. So I'm just going to call this New Bonnie, and hit Save. A little box will come up and all you have to do is hit this export another box will come up and hit save and that will save your new picture now let's say that you want to rotate the picture and have it placed like I have mine placed here on the screen so let me show you how to do that go inside this picture make sure visible over here is clicked go inside the picture right click go to edit and say copy then go up here to File and say New. And since I know that my picture is already this size here, I want to make my new canvas bigger than that. So I'm going to make the new canvas 900 by 900. And I'm going to say OK. So this creates a new canvas with a white background. And the reason why it made the white background is because of how the colors were chosen here. So if I want a black background, I just go into my Bucket Tool and click inside that white area and it becomes black. It would be much easier to see our picture. So once you have a black background, right click your mouse again inside that box and say paste as and choose new layer. This will incorporate your picture into this new canvas. Alright, so now we want to rotate this picture but we need a duplicate copy in order to do that. So go over to clipboard here on the layer, right click your mouse and say duplicate layer. And then go down to the clipboard layer and highlight it, make sure it's blue. And then go over here and get your rotate tool, click it, and click anywhere inside that picture. And a little box will come up. So if you have, have anything but 000 here, just hit reset. Okay? So then we want to change our picture to a minus 10 degrees and click rotate. So now GIMPs rotate that picture. But let me show you something else. If I turn off this original picture, you'll see that the rotated one is gone. And we don't want that. We want to incorporate both of these pictures as one solid picture. So again, let's turn off the background because we don't want to incorporate that. Highlight the clipboard copy. Right click your mouse and say new from visible. So now if I turn off these other two layers, we are left with this visible layer that is one picture. And I'll show you that it is one entire picture by moving the canvas around. So there, see? So now if I turn this off and turn this fun picture on and this one 
and try to do the same thing. If I was trying, you know, we tried to move the canvas, the only picture it would move would be that one, see? So, we go back up to our visible layer, turn it on, turn these other layers off. In fact, you could delete these at this point. Right click your mouse over top of the layer you want to delete, just say delete layer. And you can export, again, this whole piece picture. You can save as, and when it comes up, you want to select your file type. And you'll probably want to pick PNG so that you keep that transparent background here. And you want to name it. And click Save. And once again, you'll get those boxes that come up. So just hit Export on the first box, Save on the next box, and it'll save your picture. Now what happens if you want to add a background and you don't want it to be black? Well, then you can go over here to your color choices and you can change these colors. So I'm going to leave the first one at black, but I want to change the background color here to my green, okay? And the object here is to make this background look like this background. And this is how you get that done. So we have our two colors picked and I'm going to go down to the background layer because that's the layer I want to pick. You know, that's the layer I want to change, the black. And go over here to the Blend tool, pick that. And anywhere in the inside of this black square, you can click the canvas, hold your Shift key, and drag at the same time with the mouse. And then once you let go, you get that blended layer between black and the green color, whatever you have down here. So if you don't like this green color, you can change it to something else. Say OK. Let's switch these around. Go back in that background color. Click on the canvas. Hold your shift key down at the same time. Drag with your mouse. And you can change that background color to whatever you want. And that's all there is to it. So once you're done with your background and everything, you want to save this out now. And I go again, go up to File, Save As. Select the file type by your extension. PNG right here. Decide where you want to place it on your computer in here. And hit save. And it's asking me if I want to, you know, I'm going to say yes. Why not? We can replace it. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Until then, you be safe, take care, and have fun. And I'll talk to you soon.